So welcome everyone to this panel session, which forms part of our annual conference. In today's session, we'll be celebrating the success of our prize winners from 2020. They are our highest performing students from across all our qualifications, having achieved the highest overall score in their year. We also recognize our bursary student of the year. And in today's session, we will hear from them on how they have found their studies, what they feel about having achieved this, how the qualifications have helped in their jobs and careers, and also ask them to provide some hot, good tips for our other students going through the same thing. To introduce myself, I'm Janet Legg, Director of Awarding Body at the ACT. I've been working in the education sector for the last 14 years and have been at the ACT for the last three. Currently, I'm responsible for the development of our syllabi, the content and design of our qualifications and the assessment process for our students. As many of you will know, the ACT moved to online assessment and remote invigilation back in 2016 and were trailblazers in this space. But the work we have done over the last four years has put us in a strong and stable position to weather the COVID storm that we're currently in. So it is really wonderful that after what has been a challenging year for so many of our members and students, we can spend some time celebrating the hard work of our students who have remained committed to improving their professional development. So without further ado, I'd like to ask my panel to introduce themselves and let our listeners know which award they have won and we'll kick off alphabetically. So Irina, over to you. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Irina. I'm a senior treasury analyst for the front office team. I'm working for the company called S.C. Johnson here in England. Um, I started my treasury career about five years ago. Before that, I was in accounting. And I'm very pleased to be here as the winner of the award for the certificate in international cash management. Thanks, Irina. Jake, would you like to go next? Yeah, sure. Uh, thanks, Janet. Uh, my name is Jake Lambert. I graduated three years ago from the London School of Economics and then jumped straight into Treasury with WorldPay, which has recently become FIS uh, as their Treasury dealer. And I'm very happy today to have won the uh, Certificate in Treasury Award. Great, thank you. Noah, over to you. Uh, thank you. My, my, my name is Noah, Noah Kazingachire. I'm with uh, ZB Financial uh, Holdings in Zimbabwe. I kicked off my career at uh, Barclays Bank of Zimbabwe. I joined as a graduate trainee from uh, the University of Zimbabwe. And uh, I then uh, joined later uh, the ZBFH, uh, Zimbabwe Financial Holdings. Um, I I have a bachelor's in uh, economic. I have um, um, been awarded uh, the Gay Pierpoint uh, Bezari Student of the Year for 2020, which is quite a great achievement for me. You actually feel uh, confident uh, and well leveraged, to say the least. Thank Wonderful. You. Thank you. Thank you, Noah. And finally, last but not least, Tian. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Uh, my name is Tian Song. I work for Baker Hughes. I started my career back in 2013 with General Electric in China. That was a graduate program for corporate finance. Um, after two years in the graduate program, I, uh, I got admitted to the like um, global consultancy and audit program of GE working in the US. That's when I moved from China to the States. And after which I got this role being a senior treasury manager with Baker Hughes in London. And I moved with my job here to London. And I currently am a senior treasury manager here, leading strategic projects for treasury and cross-functional finance. And I won the uh, award in diploma in treasury management. Excellent, thank you, Tian. It's lovely to have you all here and congratulations again on your achievements. So, First sort of question, how did you all feel when you found out you had won prize winner of the year? Tian? Yeah, well, actually it was a big surprise actually, because I like, I received the email from ACT every week and month. So I thought this is another email related to a, like a knowledge sharing or a, like advertisement of a new session. And now what it turned out is that I won this award, which was really a big surprise. And I was really happy I shared the news with a lot of my colleagues and family immediately. So I'm, I'm really happy with it. 
<laughs> Excellent. I'm glad. Well, I'm glad you read the email. That's for sure. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I <laughs> have. And it, yeah, it didn't go into spam, which is great as well. So, um, <laughs> Noah, how about you? How did you feel when you you found out? Ah, uh, it was actually a, a, a pleasant surprise for me. But uh, looking back, uh, on reflecting, you realize that uh, hard work uh, actually actually pays. And I would like to encourage uh, uh, fellow recipients here to continue working harder and uh, to pursue uh, fit levels of uh, the, uh, the the course. I am actually contemplating uh, enrolling for the diploma so that I further by my, my knowledge in the display. Excellent. That's great to hear. Well, just let me know when you're ready. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Jake, how about you? Oh, well, very happy, very proud, of course. Um, my kind of personal philosophy has always been if something's worth doing, then it's worth overdoing. And it's meant that I kind of have to work a bit harder than I, I might have to if I just wanted to get by. Um, but it's really nice to have that hard work recognized um, by an award like this. So yeah, very pleased. Excellent. Wonderful. And Irina, how did you feel? Yeah, absolutely. Great surprise. And it's, it's very important to have an acknowledgement like this for all the hard work you put towards getting your qualifications. So yeah, definitely. That was a really, really nice surprise. Excellent. Well, it's definitely one of the perks of my job, the nice, the nice part I get to do every year. So um, it's great to have you here. So if we go on to sort of how you all found your studying with the ACT, is it anything that um, you found sort of worked really well, the sort of style of learning that you'd like to, to talk about? Noah, shall we start with you? That's why I, I, I found it uh, quite, uh, it's grueling. It's uh, quite involved. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, I really, I, I, I really, I really, I really do, do appreciate it. And uh, uh, I, I acknowledge the level of depth that is uh, in, the, in, the, in, 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 in the study. And uh, it really uh, took me to another level. Uh, the, um, the course content, uh, well structured, uh, the study material, uh, the content and so forth, I, uh, we, we really appreciate uh, it uh, took me to another level, uh, to be quite honest. Excellent. And considering you're based in Zimbabwe, on the panel today, you are the most global of us all. You managed to do everything from, from home, okay? Sure. Excellent. Irene, about you, how did you find your time with us studying? And really uh, to think of it. it... Sorry, what were you saying, Noah? And really to think of it, uh, it was uh, quite challenging to think. Uh, that is when uh, we had just been hit by the uh, co co corona pandemic. So I uh, once again congratulations to my 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 my, my, my fellow achievers here. Because it did uh, you 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 can imagine the strain uh, at the back of uh, the the corona pandemic and having to put in uh, the extra hours and the extra effort. So it really took some courage and hard work. Mm. Mm. Yeah, definitely. I can't agree more with with Noah that. It's been a bit challenging to compare, to combine the full-time work with studying, uh, but nevertheless, the, the studying ACT is quite an enjoyable, enjoyable process to me. And the level of details that you have in the material and the way the material is comprehensive and covers all the areas, this is just great. And personally, for me, my favorite part of studying with ACT was the tuition school that was part of the Certificate in International Cash Management. That was absolutely a great experience. I met so many amazing people and our tutor was absolutely the best. So I can say that, um, that that's really, really great experience for me. Excellent, that's great. I think the school is, is always great, isn't it? Because you get to know people and build up a great network. Yeah. Absolutely. Lovely, great. Tian, how did you find the diploma? Yeah. 
Oh, I agree with Arena and Nora. I think the, the key role is structured, how the cost is structured and how the different level is structured. And the one thing that really impressed me is like how ACT update the material based on how the treasury industry develops. Because like I had some experience helping to polish the training material, the internal training material for treasury function for my company. And when we compare what we source from other providers versus what I have gone through in ACT, I found that like in today's environment, I can clearly see what I learned from the ACT, like uh, 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 like syllabus is still up to date. I can make sense of everything on what we do in the work, but in some other materials, I do find there is a bit of updated information on how the industry is trending towards. So that part, I particularly give credit to the ACT program. Great, that's really good to hear because obviously we try and keep things relevant and useful for our students so that you can actually take mm -hmm. things away and apply them in your in your day job. So that's that's fantastic. Um, Jake, anything to add? Yeah, I mean, I completely agree with with everything that's that's been said. Uh, I think the course tracks a really good balance between uh, theory and practicality. Uh, but I, I would add that I'm a, I'm a big fan of the way it's delivered. Actually, um, it's a bit daunting at first having to do uh, entirely independent study um, without, you know, lectures and that, which is what I was used to at uni. Um, and then doing your exam at home on the laptop. But I found that it, once you get used to it, it's actually uh, great in terms of flexibility. And it's that flexibility, which I think has given me the edge um, to do so well, especially during the pandemic, you know, when, when there are so many restrictions in, in everything else in your life. Mm, absolutely. Well, that's great feedback. Thank you. So. Some of you have already sort of touched on this, but can you sort of tell our listeners what value the qualification has added to your jobs and your careers, how it's, if it has, hopefully, is helping you maybe look to the next step in your career? Um, so, Irina, do you want to start? Yeah, absolutely. I, I can say that the ACT study is, is, is a great confidence boost in, in your career. And as I started not that many years ago, I, I would call myself a junior specialist at that time. And since then I had a few career moves and I think that ICT was a great part of it uh, because it gives you such a good understanding of a bigger picture, how the treasury function has fit into organizations. So it just helps you to do your day-to-day -day decisions, just make them better. So I think that's a great um, value for my day-to-day -day job. Brilliant. Jake? Same story here. Yeah, it's, it's really given me confidence uh, in my day-to-day -day role. Uh, and it, it's motivated me to, to reach out to other areas of treasury that I perhaps would have shied away from before studying. Um, so for example, I'm, I'm looking at uh, trying to have some experience in treasury technology now. Um, but it also gave me an insight into different, how different treasuries and different industries work. You know, I'm quite early in my career at the moment. I've only had a sample size of one, that's the treasury and the payments industry. Um, and I feel that the qualification has set me up well to, um, try and tackle some of the nuances in different industries when, and if the, the opportunity were to come my way. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And can I actually ask, was the qualifications, were they recommended to you? Have people that you work with, are they doing them? Uh, or was it something that you sort of found, found yourself? Very, very highly recommended for me uh, by many people in the treasury function. Excellent. Great. Tian? Yeah, sure. I think to the same question, actually, ACT is a sponsored program for my company. Basically, uh, we have this program that every year the company sponsors a few employees like to go through the qualifications. So definitely, I think the company recognizes the value of the program. Uh, and my experience, how this has impacted my career is that because I joined my current company, Baker Hughes, in a time when the business is going through a separation with General Electric. And that's a time when Baker Hughes is setting up its standalone treasury operation from scratch. So I joined in this time where I have to learn from every day, trying to explore together with the other team members, how we can set up a framework infrastructure and process that makes sense. So the ACT program has helped me to make sense of all I have in my day-to-day, -day, structure them 
all together and think strategically how like it makes sense for the overall company. So really the structure and the strategic thing is the way where SAP has helped me the most. Great. And uh, do you think you'll be tempted to go on to the advanced diploma? <laughs> or is that maybe uh, a few years away? <laughs> Yeah, I think I will do it at some point. I think at this moment, I will take a pause here because if I look back, I started my ACT in 2019. I did all the five unit for uh, certificate in treasury, like all the five unit at once April last year. And then I did two unit in uh, AMCT like the last August and another two this April. So it was quite an intense journey for me. I think now I want to take a pause and focus on something else before I come back here. Wow, that, is, a, that is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> You've done it all. Yeah. Press. Well done. Great achievement. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, I think you deserve a break. <laughs> um, <laughs> Thank you. Noah, how, how do you feel the qualification has added to your career? It's uh, in added uh, my, it gives you leverage, actually it's a springboard uh, from which to rise to higher levels. I, I, I found it to be quite practical, uh, workable and applicable to the work environment. So, because in trade that we are really working with a basically risk management, cash flow management, so it was quite useful and hands on. So it it was a really quite amazing and great for me. Uh, I'm now, I'm now able to apply it to environment and basically I I, I hope that will also um, increase. So it will also it, it, it also show even in the in the work output uh, you realize uh, it's an added advantage and uh, uh, it's a, a augmented uh, uh, input which will also uh, augment the the level of the output at work. Excellent. And and you said earlier you're tempted to possibly do the diploma next. <laughs> Definitely, uh, definitely. That, those, those are the next steps. Those are definitely the next steps. <laughs> Excellent. So we're sort of coming to the end of this, but what I'd like to ask is, is for your advice to students who are currently going through the same uh, qualification, who are studying, what are your sort of top tips to, to help them come out, you know, as prize winners potentially, or just to get through the whole process itself? Um, any kind of key ideas and things like that, if you want to share. So Jake, shall we start with you? Any thoughts? Yeah, well, I mean, I'm probably going to get shattered by Tian's monster achievement of doing this difficult journey in, in one month, but, um, I took a bit, a bit of a slower approach, um, and I wanted to, to try and maintain a good balance between work and life. Um, so I really focused on time efficiency and I'd recommend if, um, anybody else wanted to you know, not do the super fast track approach that they, they take uh, a similar, similar tactic. Uh, I kind of would look at my day, uh, figure out when I was most productive and then try to wrap that around work. So I ended up reading my notes, you know, on the train, when I commuted to work, I would do deeper study sessions during lunch and then immediately after work. Uh, and that, that meant that I could you know, get all my hours in fairly early in the day, um, during the week, Monday to Friday, and then still manage to, to enjoy my weekends and and evenings doing things that you want to do in your free time. So, um, yeah, I think time efficiency is key to working and studying at the same time. Amazing. That sounds very organized. I must be honest. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, Tian, your top tips. Yeah, I think basically my tip is to find a way that work for you the best, because like I, I've been doing this aggressive, like study plan, because I know myself. I work the best when I'm under pressure and I work the best when deadline is approaching. So I try to get everything into a short period of time and I study from the beginning of the day until the end of the day. And I've been taking this off to study as well. Basically like in the last year, I spend most of my vacation days on study. So like before the exam date, I would take one or two weeks off, depends on the like the, the number of exams I need to go through and I focus like during this period of time to go through the material and get preparation done. 
So I think this is the way that worked for me the best, but definitely different people have different way of learning. So if like uh, going to the like school, like what Arena did is works better versus like self-study or if spreading the pressure out, like uh, into kind of a longer horizon, I think it's really about finding your own balance and what makes you feel the most comfortable. Absolutely. I think we all have our own styles and it is trying to work out the best one that works for you at the end of the day. So right. great. Noah, any, anything to add, Noah? Top tips? How did you get through it? <laughs> yeah, the prospective students need to establish a, a, a study routine and be disciplined about it and enjoy the course because they will really enjoy the course and they will like it. Excellent. Great. Thank you, Noah. Irina, last thoughts from you? Yeah, I'll agree with something that was said. And to me, the key point was to plan your time, just to have a dedicated time for you to study, even if it's a half an hour a day. But if you're focused on your studying, that, that helps. And definitely, I wouldn't leave everything till the last moment because that becomes very stressful and it's probably not going to enjoy it. And so, yeah, for me, it's planning us and making sure you stick to that discipline of uh, spending time with regularly. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's important, isn't it? At the end of the day, you do want to enjoy it as well. It shouldn't all be painful. So um, <laughs> to get that balance right is, is important. So, um, so lovely. So thank you all so much for participating today. For sharing your thoughts and um, your ideas on such a sort of important area, I think, for people. Um, and I'm a great believer that knowledge is power and we need to continue to ensure uh, that education, that our professional qualifications are accessible, that they support our members and employers and students, and hopefully provide you, you all with the skills and knowledge that you need to be successful in your careers. So I'd like to thank my panelists today. Tian, Jake, Noah and Irina and congratulate them once again on their wonderful achievements and we hope everyone enjoys the conference this week. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.